Good morning, everyone. Uh, today, this review is this lesson is a review of using your calculator in trigonometry. So, I guess in particular, we're going to look at degrees, minutes, and seconds. You're all very familiar now with using your calculator to get sine, cos, etc. Um, we don't often or haven't been very often putting the answers in degrees and minutes. So this review is just about finding them and swapping backwards and forwards from degrees and minutes. Now this um, recording I'm doing for the sharp calculator. I'm going to write do a different recording for the different calculators. So in trigonometry, um, we're used to having our degrees just to seeing in our calculator 55.23 or 55 point whatever of a degree. But that's not the way that degrees are traditionally um, written down. Traditionally in geography, um, degrees are very much like time. It was recorded in degrees, minutes and seconds. Now the minutes and seconds are very, very similar to time ones. It was 60 seconds in a minute, 60 minutes in a degree. In order to be able to do this, we need to make sure that our calculator is set up to accept angles in degrees. So let's have a look at the calculator, The what that means. So what that means is you need a little degrees thing up there. Now your calculator can very easily be not in degrees. If you push that degree, this DRG button, you can see it goes backwards and forwards to, between degrees, rads and grads, whatever grads are. Now radians, and I'm assuming grads as well, G radians, whatever it is, they are a different way of measuring an angle. Um, we don't do it in standard maths, but there are two pi radians in a circle. Two pi is equivalent to 360 when we're talking about going backwards and forwards. So if your calculator is in radians, all your answers are going to be out. It is very, very easy to push this button or have this button pushed and find that your calculator is not in degrees. Now you can obviously push that to go backwards and forwards, but in this calculator, if you want to get it back to normal mode at any time, if you push the reset button, it'll get you back from whatever other buttons you pushed, whether you're in stat or anything else, it'll get you back to degrees. So that's the first thing that is important with a sharp calculator. That reset button there is going to get you back to um, degrees mode, back to normal mode so that you can do your work. Okay, so let's have a look at... What else it says? So, one degree equals 60 minutes. The symbol for a degree is that little circle thing. Um, the symbol for minutes is one dash. The symbol for seconds is two dashes. So, one minute equals 60 seconds. One degree equals 60 minutes. We can have something in degrees, minutes, seconds. Sine, cos, and tan, we're all very familiar with. Um, and then we can use on this calculator what we're talking about. Our symbol looks like the DMS. There it is down there, degrees, minutes, and seconds. And while I'm here, I'm just going to point out to go backwards and forwards from degrees to degrees, minutes, and seconds. On this calculator, look above. We've got in second function color, an arrow which has got degrees. That will get you backwards and forwards from degrees as a decimal, tw um, so 55.5 degrees. Um, to get you to 55 degrees 30 minutes, you push second function and that key. You don't just push that key, but let's have a look when we get back. Okay, so what I've already done is I've already done these in the OneNote. What I'm going to do is I've got it in front of me as well, so you're not going to see me come back to here. I'm going to put all of these in the calculator one at a time and come up with our, just come up with our answers. Now, I write down the answers to three decimal places each time which I recommend you do, put a stroke behind it and then <coughs> give the answer to the second decimal place. So let's have a look at that so this one doesn't get too long. The first one I'm looking for is sine 60. So sine and then just the 60 degrees and then just equal is going to give us that 0 0.866 slash behind either two decimal places, 0.87. My next one, I can clear if I want to, I want two times, don't forget your times, cos, 
40. Now, when I look closely at this, that 40.5 degrees is after that. So it's 40.5 degrees equals 1.520. Looking at our next one, 3 divided by times 75. So you can do that either way. You can put that in as a fraction if you want. So we can go 3, push our fraction button, and then go 10, 75, 10, 75. 5 equals, and that will come up with 0 0.8038. I tend not to do that, but you can certainly use your fraction button, particularly in this calculator. I would just go for e divided by um, 10, 75 equals, and come up with the same answer. But either is valid, putting in as fractions is perfectly valid. Our last one, what we're doing is sine 34 degrees in 20 minutes okay so this time we're going to put it in so 34 degrees push the dms now this one you'll notice it automatically puts our thing up there and what we'll also notice is when we put in our next digits which uh where are we uh 20 minutes 20 see how it's already put that little mark up there this calculator puts your uh, puts it into minutes straight away. So we can just go equals 0 0.564 or um, shorten it to 0 0.56. So that answer is completely... I'm just looking in my uh, OneNote. I've got done something wrong with my calculator. Okay, so 0 0.564. I'll need to fix that up. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to come back here. So this is wrong. I don't know what I've done here to get what I put in my calculator, get 2.256. Um, so ignore that completely. And when you get there, you're going to find that it's um, a different answer. I will have changed it. All right, so the next time we're looking, given sign equals 0 0.6123, find the value of 30 to the nearest degree. We're using these sign minus one keys. So let's come and have a look at our calculator again. We're going to be using sine minus one. Second function, sine. You can see sine minus one is there. Sine minus one. And our angle is, or our, uh, not our angle, our ratio is 0 0.6123 equals. Comes up with 37.75 degrees. We're finding it to the nearest degree. This is 0.75. So we're just going to round that up to 38 Give uh, 10 feet equals 1.4. Given 10 feet equals 1.4, find, find the value of feet to the nearest minute. So first we're going to find 10 minus 1, 10 minus 1 of 1.45 equals, that's given us 55.4. So we want to put this into degrees so second function with our second function push that button 55 degrees 24 minutes 27 seconds now 24 minutes is less than 30 minutes is our halfway point in degrees and minutes it's asks us for the nearest minute sorry so nearest minute we're moving on to the next one we're looking for 27 seconds 27 seconds is less than 30 seconds round down 5524. 5524. These next ones again is um, calculator exercises, finding an angle from the trigonometric ratios. Given sine feet equals four and five, found the value of theta to the nearest degree. We're going to go back to our calculator. And we're going to put in sine theta equals 4.5. So we can use our fraction button. Four on five. Let me cancel that and go sine minus one first, but put it in brackets probably. Second function. So let's have a look and see what happens if we don't. Here we go, sine minus one, four on five. Let's see what our answer is. We've answered up with 53.13. So that doesn't look like it's an answer, which is correct but uh, is it? Let's have a, that is correct so this calculator didn't really care 
that we didn't put our um, our brackets around it. It just said whatever you put in, um, and before you push equals, I'm going to treat as the angle. It's neater. You don't need to by looks of it. I certainly would be going sine minus one, and then I'd possibly put in my bracket and going four over five and closing my bracket so it looks nice before I go like that. But it is did give me the right answer. All right, so 51.3, round it down to 50 degrees. The next one, cos theta equals 1 on root 2. So once again, we're going to go to second function, cos minus 1. And then I am going to use a bracket whether I need to or not. If we use our fraction, we can still do that. And then we can go square root 2. I'm going to close the bracket and I'm going to push equals. And that's going to give me 45 degrees. Okay, so our last one, that's we've done the next one there. These questions here, if we're doing them, if you're still looking, we're looking to find these values correct to four decimal places. So looking at our calculator, we have got... Uh, sine 54 degrees. So I really am just putting these in. Sine 54 equals 0.80901. I'm putting my line down there. Um, 1, I'm going to round down 0.8090. 1068.3, 1068.3. Equals 2.5128. There is my line. So I'm rounding up, the 8's going to go up, and I'm going to end up with 2.5129. All right, so now we're going to put in these. Um, it's a lower both in point of degrees, our next ones that we're going to put in, our, our, in as degrees and minutes. So we've got cos uh, 67, 67 degrees in 13 minutes. 13 equals... 0.3872 line there for it's going to be rounded down 0.3872 and my last one is sine 11 DMS degrees and 52 equals 0.20563 again it's there again we're rounding down 0.2056 okay so that's the end of this video if you managed to get to the end if you look in your book, Cambridge and Oxford, there's plenty of them there. Um, look, you can probably get through all of those. I'm not going to nominate any at all. What I'm going to do is get you guys to do it. Um, these ones here, so this second one, the value of the following angles in minutes. I guess I'd better look at that. You should be able to put those in. Um, I don't know whether it's worth while doing this exercise one and two, but basically, um, you know, 10 degrees, what is it in minutes? 10 times 60. Um, you're multiplying all of these things by 60 to get them into minutes. We're converting from degrees to minutes. Going the other way, converting the angles from minutes to degrees, you're dividing all those numbers by 60 and writing down them. Um, have a go at a couple of them, I guess, and then these ones here are more what they did their examples around. Okay.